Hi, I want to first start off by apologizing for the fuzzy noise that's coming through. I don't know where it's coming from. I haven't been able to isolate it, but sorry. Now, what I want to talk to you about today, talk about today is um, how I take music XML files for hymns and turn them into Dorico native files, which allows me to do things like change, add, remove lyrics, change keys, um, or do other you know, other things that I normally would do with my Dorico type files. Um, often I will come here to hymnary.org and look for a hymn. In this case, I've got Anywhere with Jesus, and I found they do have a music XML version of the file. So I'm going to download that, which I've already done, and then I'm going to go over to Dorico, and I'm going to select Open Other. And here in my Downloads file, Downloads folder, I found the piece. And open that and when it opens you'll see that I get this validation failed you may or may not see that but um, it's not usually a big problem so we're gonna say okay and then we'll note that we've got the music here it's not perfect it has problems such as uh, bar lines overrunning lyrics and uh, various other things but more importantly it often will fail to do what you expect when you make any changes to it and that makes it very difficult to, to work with. So we're going to kind of take this music XML version of this and turn it into a nati uh, native Dorico version. First thing I'm going to do, and, and I should point out there's a thousand different variations that you may need, um, so I'm just going to go through one of them. Um, I do this a lot of different ways depending on my circumstances. But I'm going to go here to set up and I'm going to create a new staff add solo player and this is a little bit weird because it's not a solo player singers and I'm going to do this choir reduction here all right now I will say I often do this as four individual voices I create a soprano an alto a tenor and a bass and I do do it for each of them but uh, in this case we're going to just do the choir reduction so we'll go back to the right here and now what we want to do is isolate a couple of our voices so we're going to start by grabbing uh, the first note of the first staff and go to the last note of that same staff now we've selected the entire top staff the next thing we want to do is is come here to edit filter now again the details of how this music XML file was created will determine what you do here you may want to select all upstem voices to isolate your soprano but you can see that's not going to work here because both the soprano and alto are upstem voices um, so what I'm going to do instead is go to notes and chords top note or single notes and that grabs my whole soprano line fairly well note right here we got a, a single note that um, doesn't have two stems on it and that's going to make some things difficult for you sometimes it won't cause us any problems in this case um, so we've now got it we're going to press command or control c whether you're on a mac or a uh, pc but command or control c will copy that line and we're going to come down here into the new choral staff and what's important here is the way you do the paste you could control v or command v to paste but that's not what we want you want to come up here to edit and paste special because what you want to do is paste into voice we want the soprano voice to be up stem voice one so everything we paste here should be an up stem voice one all right so now we've got our soprano voice finished and i'm going to go do the same thing i'm going to get the beginning of the first staff i'm going to go to the end of the song i'm on this first staff again and i've copied that entire top staff and I'm going to filter again, edit, filter. And this time, notes and chords again, like we did last time, but we're going to grab the bottom notes or single notes. So that's great. I'm going to command or control C to copy what I have selected here, which as you can see is the alto line. And I am going to do the same thing. Oops, I'm sorry. Before I do that, I'm going to select the correct staff down here at the bottom. And then, uh, so my alto voice needs to go paste into voice. And now I want it to be a new downstem voice. So it's separate from that soprano voice. 
There you go. You can see now I have my soprano and my alto voices in here as separate voices. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to repeat this doing the, the men's voices. So here's the first note. Here's the last note. I'm going to filter them out. Edit. Filter. Notes in chords. Top notes so I get my tenor. Command C to copy. Select that bottom staff. And then we're going to edit. Paste special. Uh, paste into voice. Up stem voice one. Great. There's our tenor line. And again, we'll grab the whole staff. We will again filter. Notes and chords bottom. Now we've got the bass, so again, Command or Control C to copy. And then down here on the bottom staff, we're going to do Edit, Paste Special, Paste into Voice, and a uh, new downstem voice. So um, if you you may or may not have noticed that, that this original tenor voice, even though we called it an upstem voice, it was showing with a downstem until we created a downstem voice for it to be distinguished from. So good, now we've got all four of our voices separately and we now need to get the lyrics added in there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab here or here, doesn't matter. I can grab anywhere I want, frankly, because now I'm going to, uh, having selected anything on the page, I can command A, which means select everything, or control A. I'm gonna go back to the filter and this time we want to filter for lyrics, all lyrics. Now all of our lyrics are selected. So Command or Control C to copy. Select the first note of your soprano voice, which is typically what the lyrics we're going to are going to align with. And we should be able to Control V to simply paste those lyrics in. Now that caused us a little bit of grief with some overlapping, but we can fix that in just a moment. Um, before we before we worry about that, we're going to get rid of the original staff. Now that we've captured all of the information that we needed from it. Um, actually, with, with uh, yeah, well, that's fine. So we've captured all the information we needed. So we're going to get rid of uh, those original two staffs by coming back here to setup. I'm going to delete the player and their layouts. Delete the player and their layouts. And we'll come back here to right, and you can see that cleaned up the problems that we had with uh, with things overlapping each other. Now there was a problem that that happened here. That if you look at the last word of the second verse, it says praise, but it also has the letter A right there. Uh, for some reason, I don't know exactly why, when we pasted the lyrics, they got shifted off by one note in the chorus. Um, so things like this are things that you do have to look at and clean up. Um, they're a lot easier than typing the music from scratch just to clean up these little bits. So we could, uh, we could try to re re paste these lyrics or, um, uh, just retype them as necessary, whatever. I'm going to get the, get the letter a out of there because that bothers me. Shift L to select. Oh, look at that. That letter a is right there so good we got rid of that um so again we could try just copying copying this stuff and pasting it based on the second note let's see i don't know if this is going to work or not but let's let's try it why not so we've got that we're going to edit uh filter lyrics all lyrics so you can see just our chorus is selected now Command or Control C. Actually, I'm going to do X because the X actually deletes instead of copies um, or does both. Select that second note and see what happens. Does that look like? Nah, it still didn't paste in very well. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to need to go ahead and uh, retype those lyrics to get them fixed. That doesn't usually happen, but but that kind of thing can happen. So be aware of it. Um, so basically, we now have a, a pretty much finished piece with all of our voices individually corrected. We need to 
retype that chorus. That's fine. Um, and, uh, you know, now we can work with this as we would normally work with any other Dorico file, doing things like transposing or replacing lyrics, deleting a verse that you don't want, or whatever else you need to do with it, um, uh, exporting the, the audio version of it. Uh, again, it, you've got all, all the things that you normally would do. So I hope this has been helpful to you. This is something I do frequently and, uh, and have kind of worked my way through these things. So I hope it helps you. If you have any questions about anything here, please feel free to leave uh, the question in the comments. And if you have any tips that can improve what I'm doing, uh, help me out. That's great, too. Please leave those ideas in the comments. Thanks a lot. Cheers.